This week, few animes debuted, including The God of High School. We're going to review their debut episodes and, of course, a few others that, um, that we are uh, keeping tabs on. So, Maka Lifestyle, welcome to another episode Reviews Digest. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's latest episode. Uh, it's a rather, um, what you call this? It's a rather cross between a uh, cross between bizarre and fan service, right? Let me explain. <clears throat> it started uh, when construction workers uh, were running for their lives because they got scared of these lights that uh, looked like ice. They assumed that it was uh, gossy. <laughs> they, uh, it was that's how they named the uh, monster and <clears throat> there's a um, there's a club in Yuga school called uh, the dinosaur dual research club right this is where the fan service this is where the fan service part comes in because well dinosaurs have been the dinosaur type uh, monster has been part of both the anime franchise and the card game since well season two of GX, okay, through through uh, what's it through Toronto Hasselberry, and well, uh, they they want to investigate further the club, but they found but uh, Luke found out that they got. Uh, they got evil intentions. That's why they're using Team Sevens to, to to check out where where this monster is, because they are they are assuming that it is a di- it is an extinct dinosaur, right? Pretty weird, huh? This is where that's where the bizarre part comes in. Okay, that's where the bizarre part comes in. So Yuga challenges uh, the the head of the group to to rush duel. Then, in, a, in, in an even more bizarre twist of the episode, Luke, uh, Luke suddenly sides with the, uh, with the group, uh, with, with that group. So, Yuga decides to end the duel, alright? In, uh, well, in the, uh, in, in the duel is in typical lead character fashion. He beats his opponent. <laughs> He beats the he beats the leader of the group to in in that in that same rush to win. So the group decides to stop investigating, but Luke was very insistent. Well, we we all know how we all know how Luke's mindset is. Okay, he's he's very self-serving, but we still love him. <laughs> we still love we still love his character. We still love this character. So eventually, they eventually find out that. No wonder Yuga wants to stop the investigation because those lights that uh, those, those lights that the construction workers got scared of are his own. <laughs> They're his own lights okay? because uh, it was part of his uh, contraption, uh, uh, like a, like a noise canceling device to drown out. It's a it's a device that he. Made to cancel our construction noise because well the construction site is near his home okay katabila ng bahay <laughs> your construction site so he had to do something he had to uh, make a device that will cancel out all that noise and um, of course pilot lights and, and a weird um uh, In a weird twist, Roman uh, tinkers with the guitar that is connected to the device. One strum, boom! <laughs> One strum, and all their all their eardrums are being broken. <laughs> That's the funny part. And uh, as uh, per agreement between 
both parties, Yuga showed the group where he found the relic. Okay, okay. we all know the uh, the relic is the actual relic is no longer there. Okay, it's it's Goa's handiwork. And well, Roman's uh, what you call this status as her brother's spy went to work. She showed pictures. Then her brother, her brother shows up in the scene, shows up in that sequence, and just declared, and just declared that well, the concert is about to begin. Personally, I don't know what he, I don't know what he is talking about. But we figure, but I personally figure that he would be Yuga's main rival, okay, not Luke. Not even Gakuto. Okay, out of the question. No, far from it. This will, this will be his main rival, uh, Roman's brother. So we're gonna find. So hopefully we're going to find out in the next two episodes, because it, it was announced after the, uh, after this episode that there's go there's going to be a recap. Right. What the hell. Is this going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns all over again? Because basically, I'm sick and tired of uh, I'm sick and tired of recap episodes. Because that's uh, that's the downside of uh, Reigns season one. Some of its episodes are only recaps okay, because of uh, because of the internal turmoil um, Studio Gallop was having during. During production of that uh, of that particular season of Reigns, I hope this this I hope this I hope Sevens does not they, does not become another Yu-Gi-Oh! You another Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. But if they want to actually take a break from from conjuring up the story conjuring up the storyline as they go along, well. One recap, one recap episode will be uh, will be fine. But overall, it's uh, it's both a fan service and a bizarre episode. Okay? I saw uh, two major plot twists, two major twists in this episode. So I I'm calling it a bizarre one, and of course, fan service episode because the dinosaurs are back. Okay, dinosaurs are back. Are back at it again. Last time we saw a character use dinosaurs in his deck was Go Onizuka in Frames. It was season two. He was using the Dino Wrestler Archetype. He um, he jumped the uh, he jumped the Goki Archetype for a while and used Dino Wrestlers. Dino Wrestlers, they're all, it's an it's an old dinosaur archetype. Even in even in the card game. It's an old dinosaur arch type. So yeah. It's both a bizarre and a fan service episode overall, yeah. It's good. Let me give you a uh, let me give you guy let me give you Maka lifestyle a word of warning. I may not do a review of episode ten because it has been uh, announced in the teaser after the episode that there will be a recap episode. Episode the next episode will be a recap of what they have uh, what they have discovered or what they have experienced so far in the story. So I can't guarantee you that I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a review of that episode. So, but definitely episode eleven. I'm going to review that. I. Unless, unless, unless Studio Bridge announces again, it, it, is, it will be another recap. <laughs> I don't want to review recap episodes. Okay? It's a waste of time. So I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to review the next episode of Sevens. Okay? So we're I'm just riding along. As, I'm just riding along my reviews as well okay? on how. The studio announces its episodes. Bottom line, I don't want to review a recap. Right? So don't expect a, don't expect me reviewing seventh episode ten. 
next week. Right? You're going to receive. You're going to see me review on ep- review uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens probably in ep- for episode eleven already. Okay. I don't want. I I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time, Mahaka Lifestyle. So, if there are if there are new scenes in the next episode, we're we'll, we're going to touch up on that. Uh, for we're going to touch up on that two weeks from now. Before we actually review episode 11 of 7s. So, yeah. so episode 9, uh, yeah, episode 9. It's a pretty good one. Fan service and bizarre. That's how I can, that's how I can, uh, that's how I would describe this episode of 7s. Right, Super Hexados episode 2. I would, uh, it's what I would uh, strongly expect from a, uh, a borderline hentai, a borderline hentai and harem anime slash superhero anime. Okay, this is what I love about the um, call this? these borderline hentais, the awkward moments. <laughs> Episode two has almost a ton of them. All right. So, okay, th- th- it's it's also a moment of awakening for Hoshino, as she as in the end, she saw Red, she saw Red in action again, taking out another, mercilessly taking out the enemy again. So she decided to uh, to to join the team. So she gets to live with the rest of the to live with the rest of them. Right. Then here's another but the most uh, I think the highlight there was when they were they were uh, quickly deployed for a giant a gi- uh, a gi- that giant insect. <clears throat> Red falls the the bed the bed, uh, Red's bed is actually on a trap door, which, which, uh, breaks down to shoot him down a ramp, then it's supposed to be to a uh, base of some sort, but he ended up, he ended up in the jacuzzi. <laughs> he ended up in the jacuzzi with the four, with his 400 teammates who are all girls, okay? They are all wearing their birthday suits, and he lands on Hosino's boobies. <laughs> Of all places, okay. Awkward, awkwardness to the max. All right. So, Hoshino flares up, and with, and unconsciously goes nuclear on the enemy. <laughs> so, he just, she just shot out like she just shot out the uh, beam that came out of her fist like that. Uh, tore a hole in the roof of their of their house, and. Just took out the enemy. <laughs> she went nuclear. She got so pissed off. All right. So. Wow. Okay. Uh, Super Exodus is uh, starting to it's starting to look like a great anime. With all these uh, hen hentai-ish moments, and and each and each time uh, any one of them uses their powers, they. Uh, they inadvertently tear their tear all their clothes off. Yeah, they're all butt naked after taking out the enemy. <laughs> you know, if I had a superpower like that, and if you're and you're, and you're going to you're going and if it's going to tear my clothes out after taking out the enemy, no thanks. <laughs> no, not for me. <laughs> not for me. But <clears throat> so I'm going to look forward again to the next episode. Episode 2 of Super Exodus. Yep. <laughs> you made me laugh today. Okay? You made me laugh. You made me re- you really you guys really made me, you guys really made me laugh today. So mga ka lifestyle, I strongly suggest you watch this anime. Most especially if you're uh, if you're at least if you're at least a young adult, uh, like 21 years old and above, right? Or eight, at least 18, above 18, 
yeah you can you can watch that show now but the suggestive because of the suggestiveness the uh, the awkward moments okay aside from being a superhero show okay like I said be, like I said in episode one in the in my episode one review you would rather uh, you would rather drop my hero academia for this one <laughs> it is so it's so uh, it's so hilarious okay the, the awkward moments are so hilarious so yeah again super hexeros episode 2 thumbs up <laughs> I can't wait for episode 3 I just can't wait for episode 3 you know the wait is worth it okay? the wait is always if you have if you're um, uh, if you're watching out for an anime like this the wait is always worth it <laughs> Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time, Episode 1. Hmm. Perfect setup for a harem anime. <laughs> you know what? The elements of a harem anime are all in this one. Imagine winning the tournament and winning the tournament just to prove to everybody that you're the strongest man on the planet. Okay, you're the grand champion, you got a girlfriend, but here's the catch. After you became the strongest man on the planet, every warrior woman on the planet wants your sperm. <laughs> they want you to father their child. <laughs> that's the that's the whole that's the whole storyline of this one. Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time. Oh my god. What can I say about the pilot? All right, it's it's a bit short. All right, it's a bit short. Um, the pilot is the pilot is really good because he was forced to bed two sisters, okay, the ogre sisters. <laughs> he had no choice. Okay, he had no choice. So his girlfriend knocks on his door. Now the dilemma is how we how is he going to break the news to her? <laughs> Not only is this her girlfriend, see, uh, Peter, it's not Peter's girlfriend, it's, uh, it's more than that. It's his fiance. Okay? na sila. Right? They're members of the same guild with, uh, his fiance's father as the leader, as the guild master. Right? You know, personally, I don't want to be in Peter Grill's shoes right now. <laughs> This anime, judge, judging on the pilot, has all the elements of a harem anime. Ham, harem bordering on hentai. Okay? Perfect, for, uh, perfect for adults like me. Okay? It's a bit sanitized because, well, the storyline is a bit, uh, part of the storyline is a bit wholesome. It has, it, has, it has a wholesome nature. The humor element, alright? The humor element, okay? It's it's really fu it's it's a funny one. At the same time, it has all well, the sexual innuendos of a hentai. So, wow. Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time, episode one, thumbs up. Okay. I'm gonna keep on watching this anime, and if you're an adult like me, you sh so should you. <laughs> so should you. <laughs> I'm, I, I think I'm gonna enjoy watching this anime. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy watching this anime. With all the complications, well, I could see all the complications this guy can get in over, over the course of over the course of this show. I just can't wait for episode two. Decadence, episode one. Wow, well, can I say it's smashing debut? It's about well. It's about a post-apocalyptic post world a la Attack on Titan, right? in the mold of Attack on Titan. And, well, on AOT, you got the Titans. Here in Decadence, you got the Gadols, okay? a completely alien race, almost um, driving driving humanity to the brink of extinction. extinction. Then the Gears, uh, soldier, human soldiers 
decided to decided to come up with a uh, with, a, with an extremely humongous mobile city called Decadence. We're we're in the house. The remaining the remaining survivors of the human race there. They put all of them there, and they hunt. They but they continue to hunt down these gadols for food, supplies, even even fuel for the mobile city. All right. This is probably um, what sets it apart from Attack on Titan. I don't want to make a comparison because of anime, but hey, it, it can't be helped. Right? It can't be helped. The city in Attack on Titan is a stationary one. Here, it's a mobile one. Humongous, towering. It's a towering city with a secret weapon. Because these gadols can, can go to uh, what you call this? Humongous sizes. They have uh, the city itself has a uh, has a secret weapon. It's called the Decadence Cannon, right? It's not a laser beam or some sort. It is a way to punch the gut that huge gadol's lights out. All right. He, they hit, they hit uh, the giant gadol with this. It evaporates. So, and of course the the two lead characters here, they have a uh, what's called this a uh, superior subordinate relationship because they're both uh, tankers, the ones who support the the gears. One of them is Natsume. The uh, a little girl who wants to become a gear herself now by the way her boss see Katsu, uh, Katsuragi or something uh, has been treating her uh, she really wanted to be a gear but there was but in the final scene there was a he showed a side of him that has never that has never that has, Natsume has never seen before he can fight like a gear, like a gear. He, he can fight like a gear. He killed several small and medium-sized gadols uh, during one attack. The one that had the uh, the extremely the extremely humongous gadol as a boss, pinaka boss nila. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's a great debut. Uh, it's a great pilot. What a way to what a way to start a uh, well at first you could say a an attack on Titan rip off but I don't think so I do not think so I don't think this this is an attack on Titan rip off right the city is mobile okay? the city they live in is mobile umagalaw okay? umaantar it circles around the globe just to hunt down these gadols because here well this, the only similarity between decadence and attack on titan is uh nearly the nearly you nearly all of humanity has been extinct except the ones living in the living in their respective cities so i'm gonna keep watching this anime it's 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 a re it's a really good start okay? it's a really good start it had uh action sequences we can expect from future episodes i'm gonna keep on watching this one decadence <laughs> you can you can take that to the bank i'm going to i'm going to keep tabs on this anime so overall decadence episode one great pilot right it's a great pilot oh by the way i almost forgot uh well i almost forgot the origin story of natsume so if you want to watch Decadence, you just have to watch it online, right? I don't want to have to explain it to you, but the, um, the pilot is uh, a complete one, origin story, present, and what holds, uh, what hold, what future holds for the lead characters, for the two lead characters. So yeah, overall it's a good pilot. God of High School, Episode 1. Wow. Okay. 
Okay. The sneak preview didn't do just didn't do the pilot justice. Okay. <clears throat> you start out the, the three characters start out um, thwarting a robbery, helping a whole, helping helping an old lady out. Then they it turns out that they they are joining the same tournament. They go into that tournament. They also kick the rest of the field, kick the rest of the field out of the tournament. All right, because it is a battle royale. Then a late entrant comes in. They got their hand. They suddenly got their hands full. The episode ended with the uh, the guy in the uh, guy with this kind of get up like this. About to about to kick the late entrant's ass. They're about to kick each other's asses in mid-air. That's how the episode ended. And wow, okay. Woo! The hype is real. <laughs> it's fucking real, mga ka lifestyle. The action scene, the, the fight sequences. Woo! First, uh, ne- no, I mean, one of the best I've seen in decades. The last time I saw these kinds of fight sequences was back in the Grappler. Okay, the original Baki. That's what that was the last time. I mean, bodies flying all bodies flying all around the arena, um, kicking each other's teeth in. Um, even even acts of lasciviousness by the late effort to the female lead. Alright? You have I haven't seen this kind of this kind of chaos, this kind of chaos since back in the Grappler, all those decades ago. Yeah. <laughs> now I know why God of High School, Tower of God, and another manhwa, Korean manga, have been called the big three of Korean manga. Right? God of High School, wow. Okay, Tower of God, wow too. God of High School, it's 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 in a league on its own. It's in a league on its own. I got nothing to say. I'm speechless. I'm speechless about the pilot. Uh, God of High School, episode one. Two thumbs up. Okay. It left me breathless, as as you should see. Okay. I am wow. The hype is so real. Right? You guys better watch this anime. If you don't, well, you're going to miss out for the rest of the year. <laughs> you're going to miss out for the rest of the year. Judging from the pilot and the sneak preview, if you don't, if you totally miss this, if you decide to miss out on miss out on, miss out on this anime, you missed out the rest of the year. I tell you, call of high school. It's a, it's a classic in the making. So, again, God of High School Episode 1. Two thumbs up. The hype is real. <laughs>